What's up guys, Professor Showtime here with another episode of Realm of Altars. I'm having an amazing time playing this game and this is probably one of my most favorite episodes. And the reason why this is one of my most favorite episodes is because the developers are actually working on the game and now it is showing. So we've quibbled, we've cried, you know, we've said, hey, this is a collectible card game. This is a digital card game. We should be able to see our full library and we should be able to see the cards that we do not own yet. And the developers have listened. As of today, the developers have implemented a system so that we can see all of our cards. So this right here, this is news. It's not news because it has been done. It's news because the devs are looking to improve the game. They're just, I, I touched on this last video, but we're gonna drive it home. They're not looking just to, hey, put out a, a product and leave it, let it sit, see how much cash they can get from it. No, they're actively actively working to improve the product. We're gonna go through the card, um, the card feature, the card collection feature. I'll give you the pros and the cons. Of course, I'm gonna look at it objectively, but the good news is they are working on the game. So without further ado, let's look at it. It's showtime. It's your time. It's my time. It's our time. It's showtime. It's your time. It's my time. It's our time. It's showtime. It's your time. It's my time. It's our time. It's showtime. All right. So this is the screen. This is a screen that we all know and love. All right. The first. All right. Since we're looking at the, the interface, finally, I get to a video to look at the interface. I'm not going to look at it critically too much but one thing is glaring glaring at me is I'm still a rookie I'm level 24 I've played the game every day since the game came out but I'm still a rookie let if anybody knows when this is gonna change oh um, maybe this will change when rank is implemented but I need to know and your ranked is coming soon all right so let's look at it so the way you the way you do this guys if you you have to go to the cards you see where it says cards you click on cards it's going to bring up your library. It's, it's probably other ways you can do that, but the most simplest way is to go to cards. And it's gonna load a little bit. As you guys know, I'm using an emulator, so it takes a little bit more time for me, but yours, your system should be a lot more snappier. All right, so this is the feature that we're used to, right? This is your card collection. These are all the cards I own. I just click to the right, and it just so, shows all the cards I own. You know, nothing to write home about. This is normal. Now, when you click this button right here, right? You see this little magnifying glass and you see this red card right here? It's gonna turn white when I click it. It turns white. Now, when it turns white, they're only gonna show me the, they're gonna show me the cards that I own, but also they're gonna show me the cards that I don't own. Like this minor goblin right here. I don't own it. This is the golden version of the card that I don't own. I own two, two copies of the regular version but I do not own the golden version. So it says not own there. Same thing with the Goblin Pirate. I own this one, it's red, but the one I don't own, own it says not own, but it's also grayish. It's a little darker than this card. This card is much brighter than this card. And if we scroll along, um, right now I own all the cards except for the golden versions of these cards that we just looked at. And the same thing with this, except for, yep, the same thing. I own all the cards yet. I'm trying to find a card that I don't own yet. And we, all right, here we go. The Red Orge. I don't own it. I don't own the golden version. I don't own the regular version. So they're all great. This one is bright. And if you look at it, you compare it to the rest of them. And so if you click on it, it gives you the full stats of the card. It's a three mana three, three. And you guys can read the skill when you get a chance. But previous to this, if you've never played a red org, then you wouldn't know it's in the game. But now the devs have implemented this. So what are the improve improvements to this? First of all, I went on record a couple of videos ago and saying that this should have been implemented day one of the game. I think this should have been in the beta version of the game. I don't know how you create a digital card game without the full collection in there. I played a game like that before. The game was called, oh man, it was a Marvel game. It was like a Marvel chess type situation. It wasn't Marvel Strike Force, it was Marvel Battle Lines. That's right, Marvel Battle Lines had the same situation. It was an amazing game, the game never took off, you know, um, but 
what happened was they didn't have the full collection out so you wouldn't know what cards to play and you would go against cards and you wouldn't know how to counter them at least now right let's say you let's say you get obliviated by uh levant this card right here let's say you get obliviated by this card and it's not commonly played in red right because it's a high mana card but let's say somebody has the, the a, a great strategy and they play this card but you really don't understand how it's played because you know you lost to it but you had no way of looking at it now you can go to the collection if you don't have the card and you can look at it in detail so kudos to developers for doing this um like i said this should have been on this should have been done day one in my opinion now this needs to be improved right this is the first step the first step is implementing this and first things first i want to be make sure i'm clear the developers of this game have to be cut a major amount of slack because it's a small development team for those of you guys who don't know there are only seven or six people that work on realm of altars including the artists of the game and i've and i've and i've been told that there are two artists so there's literally five uh programmers or five engineers working on this game so yeah we got to cut them cut them some slack but so the first step is there the card collection feature has been implemented the second step is that it has to be fleshed out more right there should be a way to there should be a button that says show cards or show golden cards as well because um some people aren't much of a collection buff and if some people if they don't have the golden cards it does it does it should it doesn't matter to them right like right now it sh if i look at this right it says i don't own the sniper the golden version but i really don't care too much like most people like some people really don't care i'm not saying i actually don't care but some people don't like skull the hound i don't have a golden version of skull the hound but some people really don't care or there should be a way of feature to toggle it off like show golden cards or don't show golden cards that's the first thing I think they need to improve on, right? Like I said, I'm happy it's there, but it needs to be improved. The second thing that needs to be improved is the fe is this feature. All right, so let's bring up a an example. Let's bring up Okay, let's bring up Neil the Hunter, right? Neil the Hunter is a human, right? Probably not the best fe not the best example. Let me let me find one. It's here we go. Mm. Here we go. Let's do this. A goblin, right? Or dash. All right. Here's this is the perfect example. Okay, my, you look as like, hey, this is a one a one drop. I can put this one drop in my in my deck. If I have two or more red mana, draw a dash followers. You're like, hmm. I want to make cards that synergize with the minor goblin. So what cards will synergize with the minor goblin? Maybe other goblins, right? So I should be able to type in this feature in this, where it says this uh, magnifying glass, I should be able to type goblin and then only the goblins would, would show up. That's the first thing. The second thing, so you should be able to search by the type of card to know, hey, okay, can I make a goblin deck work or not? But the second thing that's probably just as important, this card has the dash, has the dash, right? It's gonna draw a dash follower. I, sh I should be able to type in a circle dash and then only all the dash followers in the game should be able to pop up so I'll be like so so in the beginning of the deck I just have a one drop it's a red and maybe I'll say hmm what other classes or what other colors have dash minions and then I'll be able to scroll to them and it will only have the dash minions and I'll be able to figure out what deck synergizes well with red I think the game will be a lot more flushed out if that could happen because then we can really create decks really really easily you know I, know I know a lot of people want to create dragon decks me personally i want to create a deck that can counter red so i'm assuming in my mind theory theory crafting it will be a taunt deck so i want to be able to put taunts in and see exactly how many taunt minions or taunt followers are in the game these are just early suggestions and i'm pretty sure the developers are working on it and I'm happy that there are, and this is proof is in the pudding that they're working on the game. So I'm excited. Guys, I won't talk about it too much anymore, but that's it in a nutshell. The feature is implemented. We can see all the cards in the game. Shout out to the developers for working on it so quickly. Stay tuned. Rank. Ranked matches are coming soon. 
I would bet ranked matches will start with the, in, by the beginning of the month, and they're probably going to reset every season, which usually is every month. Some card games have them every two months, but you know, this is Realm of Alters. They may change it up the format completely. Again, in the comments down below, let me know that rookie, that rookie thing that's up here, that rookie title, I'm level 24. Nothing to brag about because I play every day, but that rookie title, what is it going to change? When I'm going to be a, a sophomore or a junior or a senior or whatever they're going to, whatever legendary, what are they going to put that during rank? All right, guys, if you like Realm of Cult, Realm of Alters content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Click the bell notification because we will be live, live streaming this game really soon as soon as we get more subscribers dedicated to Realm of Alters. All right, guys, peace. I'll see you next time. That was amazing.